Recently, I read a headline that a certain airline company is pulling tomato juice from their in-flight beverage options, which I was like, who really cares? No one orders tomato juice anyways. But apparently, a lot of people actually do. And there was this huge backlash from customers of the airline wanting tomato juice back. And what I found most interesting was that these people claimed that tomato juice somehow tastes better during flight. It tastes better when you're on an airplane than while you're on the ground. And this was just something I had to dig into. What I found was that one of Germany's biggest airlines, Lufthansa, was already trying to study why their food and drinks tasted so different on the ground versus during flight. And they took this really seriously. What they did was they took one of their own airplanes, chopped it up into smaller pieces, and then placed these pieces right next to the Freudhofer Institute for Building Physics. And basically Lufthansa worked with physicists to sort of make this plane on the ground mock the annoyances of flying in the air. So they piped in really loud jet noise. They made the seats vibrate to mimic turbulence. They only circulated dry air as if we're flying at high altitudes. And they can make the sort of mock plane achieve low pressure which is what makes your ears pop. So they wanted to see like which of these annoyances or variables started to change how we tasted our food and drink. What does Lufthansa end up blaming? The dry air. So during flight at such high altitudes, the air outside the plane is really cold. And this cold air cannot hold a lot of moisture compared to warmer air. So as our flight goes on, we are actually circulating more and more of that dry air, which ends up making our skin really dry, our saliva starts to diminish, and our nasal mucus starts to evaporate. And we, we use our saliva to sort of get our food in contact with our taste buds, and we use our nose to smell the flavor or odor and aroma of food. And so these two things are really important. So if we're losing saliva and nasal mucus during flight, this might change how we perceive our food. And what Lufthansa reported from their studies was that they saw a 30% reduction in how we perceived sweet or salty foods. So we had a harder time under these mock flying conditions tasting sweet or salty foods. And what is interesting is they recorded no change in perceiving bitter or sour foods. So it was really just these sweet or salty foods we had trouble perceiving. Beyond Lufthansa doing their own studies, a couple of academics have tried to look into how our taste perception can also change. The first study I want to talk about blames the high altitude for changing our taste perception. So what this study did was it took a group of people and had them eat foods under normal living conditions and then after living at high altitude for three weeks. So they ate the same foods, but what the study reports is that after living at high altitudes, I'm talking really high altitudes, these people were living at about 11,000 feet or 3.5 kilometers. Just for reference, Denver's at 5,000 5, feet of elevation. So this is high altitude. And what the study reports is that living at this high altitude, when these people ate the same food, they could not perceive sweet tastes as well. They had a hard time identifying sweet tastes. But on the other hand, somehow the high altitudes actually enhance their perception of bitter and sour foods. So for some tastes, it diminished them like sweet, but it also helped them identify bitter and sour. The last study I found looked at how different noise levels can impact our taste perception. What they were specifically interested in was if high noise levels like that of a flight 
could influence how we taste our food and drinks. And if you think about it, flights are really loud. You get used to the noise, but it's loud. There's jet engines screaming, crying, talking, music. It's estimated that the airplane environment is at a level of about 85 decibels and anything above 90 decibels, you're supposed to be wearing ear protection. So airplanes are a loud environment. And what this study did was have people taste food under normal noise levels or under loud noise levels and see how their perception changed. And what they found was actually under these high amounts of noise, people's perception of sweet food and drinks was again lowered. People were less sensitive to the sweet taste. But what they found was that umami taste was actually enhanced. So you could, you were more sensitive to umami tasting food and drinks. And this sort of brings us full circle back to tomato juice which is a umami flavored drink. And that's because tomatoes are packed with glutamates and glutamates are the molecules in foods that trigger our umami taste buds. And so I think there is some evidence because the study saw you have a better perception of umami flavors under loud noises like that of an airplane that maybe people were right and that tomato juice might taste better during flight. On your next flight, stay away from those sweet drinks like sodas, apple juice, or orange juice, and why not try the umami packed tomato juice? Let me know what you think. Cheers. Oh. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the foods you eat, leave them in the comment section. I'm always looking for new ideas for videos. See you later.